Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a little uh, tips and tricks slash how-to for the support roll and in specific the weapon spear. So I'm going to break it down into three sections. It's going to be the weapon strengths and weaknesses, your positioning, and just basically support roll. Okay, so the first thing I want to say before I get into weapon strengths and weaknesses is that all three of these categories play into each other. Like your positioning is going to play into the actual role of support and your weapon strengths and weaknesses is going to play into your positioning. So your number one strength as a spear player or support role is going to be being able to take initiative off your opponent. When you're running into that fight, you always want to be the one stabbing and putting your team on the offense and your frontliner on the offense. And do not let this uh, point be understated because it's arguably the most important thing you can do as a support player is what you're essentially doing is supporting your front line by taking that initiative you're helping your front line with your range capabilities and your safety capabilities take the initiative off the enemy team so the reasoning behind taking initiative is so important is something i'm going to go over towards the end of the video when i'm going over support role and basically how taking initiative allows you or your team to have a massive advantage just in the early game of the fight and how that can snowball into the later you know the later outcome of that engagement so another strength that you'll be able to utilize or take advantage of with spear is the ability to pull players which i'm going to leave a link to uh Rongwat's video on how to pull and the ability to punish players and uh punishing is basically just you know flinching the enemy team or not allowing them to make these crazy swaps and you punishing them by stabbing them. So just to recap the weapon's strengths and weaknesses, we're going to basically go over them. It's going to be its strengths are the range capabilities, uh, the ability to take initiative much easier, being able to pull and punish players much easier. And for its weaknesses, it's just its low damage on slash and overhead. And uh, in 1vx, it's a lot more difficult. In this video, in this next clip, I'm about to showcase, I'm going to basically check mark all the three strengths that I utilize and take advantage of while playing the support role. Okay, so I'm going to let it roll. Step one, I take initiative. Step two, I'm applying pressure with my range. I see this opponent's trying to flinch my teammate, so I punish him. So just one more time to make sure. I'm using my range to take initiative right there. Then I continue to use my range and positioning, which I'm going to get into next, to land my next attack. And I also punish the player trying to switch into my teammate, and that's going to go into the support role. So now diving into positioning, you're going to basically want to focus on two of the most important things. I'm just going to break it down into these two things, and it's going to be your footwork and uh, like your actual positioning on where you're standing in the team fight, and your awareness of what's going on in the team fight. So just watch how I'm positioned right on the initiation. I'm in between my two frontliners, and I'm winding up out of the enemy team's range. So I have great positioning. I'm able to stab around my teammate and punish him. And that's just a good showcase on how you want to enter team fights. Now the reasoning this is good positioning, or the ideal positioning, is because while I'm pressuring the guy straight in front of me with this wind up, I'm pressuring the guy to the left in front of my left teammate, and if I wanted to, I could pressure the guy to the right in front of my right teammate. Now this is where your strength, your weapon strength, and basically your weapon strength comes into play with your positioning. Look how I'm tucked behind my teammate on his right shoulder. I'm utilizing my weapon strength and its range, but I'm positioning myself in a in a place where I can't get hit. So I'm also I'm using I'm utilizing the weapon strength by stabbing my opponent from behind my teammate. And me standing behind my teammate is that positioning where I'm putting myself in a safe in a safe position and I have both the enemy players on my screen. Okay, this is going to be a little difficult to understand, but you basically position yourself off, off of your weapon strengths, right? You want to be behind your teammates, you have a long-range weapon. Now, that positioning is going to kind of lead into your awareness, but your awareness is positioning, which is what doesn't really make sense, and I don't really know how else to explain it. But your positioning is going to allow you to be aware of the surroundings. So all these factors you're gathering in based off of your positioning and your awareness of what's going on in front of you is going to lead into your decision making. And your decision making is quote unquote game sense. So 
what I'm trying to say is your positioning is going to allow you to be more aware of what's going on, and that awareness is going to allow you to make better decisions and have better game sense. Now I use my awareness to see the player on my right has his back facing me, so I immediately use my game sense, wind up a stab, and punish that mistake of him, of him just being blind to where I am. Then I also utilize my positioning and weapon strength by stabbing around my teammate and punishing the enemy player. Okay, so I'm going to play the clip back real quick and show you awareness versus game sense again. So this player we're going to refer to as number one. And after I stab him, I immediately look back to my left using awareness to gather information on what's going on in the team fight. Now this player is going to be number two. He's who I'm aware of. He's coming towards me, but he's not close to me yet, so I use my game sense to stab at player number one. I use my positioning and weapon strength to get around my teammate, punish him out of range. After that, I use my awareness knowing that player number two is somewhere to my left and I immediately look back there. I see player number two's not going for me or not committing to me and he's still out of range, so I use my decision making to go back to player number one. Okay, I'll try not to ramble anymore. It's the best, easiest way for me to put it is it's a cycle between putting yourself in a position where you're the most aware using that awareness to make the best decision possible. Once you make that best decision, it should put you then again in another position where you can also be aware of your surroundings and make another decision and you keep you keep repeating that cycle. So it's a cycle between positioning, then becoming aware, then making a decision, then back to position. Okay, so I think I made sense of that. Now, just to go over support role and how important punishing and, and just the actual role of support is, I'm going to use this example of how I punish this player and my teammate Frazzle gets a wrap off of it. Okay, so I wind up. This player is winding up at my teammate, but I flinch him and it allows my teammate Frazzle straight in front of my screen to get this double cleave on the enemy frontliners in front of me. So that should be it for this tutorial. Um, I know it was long. But I tried to get all the most important information in there. There's just honestly so much fucking shit I could put in, but I'm trying to keep it as short as possible. I tried to make the most sense of this stuff. If you have any feedback or like anything you want to add furthermore to this tips and tricks slash tutorial, you know, shoot them in the comments. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Uh, let me know if you want the style to be like more cleanly edited less cleanly edited, shorter, longer, live. I was thinking about doing a live tutorial, but I am i don't know about that. I mean, like hopping in like a demo rec scenario and just talking for 10 minutes about what's going on. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, share. I mean, this doesn't really only apply to comp players. It'll apply to fucking anybody picking up the spear in general. So... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure not to stab your teammates in the ass, because I did that for a long fucking time. And yeah, have a good one.